Hey guys, it's Vlad with The Verge. I'm here at CES 2014 and we've just been shown uh, NVIDIA's new Tegra K1. It's running on a customized Note 7 tablet from the company. And at the moment, I'm being chased by some freaky alien monsters in Sirius M3. Uh, to the side of me, there's a demo of uh, Trine, a custom build of Trine running on a Tegra K1, and I've just died here. Uh, and on the other side, there's a demo of Digital Iris, something that the company showed off um, at its press conference here. So what we're looking at here is switching between the two versions of OpenGL uh, with the slider. So as we zoom in, we can really see the difference between the Digital Iris with the next generation technology uh, and previous generation technology. And what we have to say is that all of this visually is extremely impressive. Um, Sirius Sam itself, when I get rushed by all these monsters, uh, does show quite a bit of lag. Uh, it doesn't seem like the GPU is quite capable of handling it, but uh, being able to see Unreal Engine 4 uh, as rockets start flying at me, I really don't think this game is particularly fair to be honest. And the monsters are able to launch things at me, which again doesn't help. Uh, but in any case, Unreal Engine 4 on the Tegra K1 is impressive. Um, in this particular situation, you're seeing a ton of uh, graphics is the sort of thing that you would expect uh, from your actual PC or console game. So uh, some, some of the lower frame rates are understandable. Uh, and as I say, the Digital Iro demo in, in particular is one of the most impressive ones we've looked at so far. Uh, so it's, it's promising, at least on the graphics side, uh, which is what you would expect from NVIDIA. And particularly with the K1, it has 192 CUDA cores, which are actually graphics cores. They're not uh, the same CPU cores as you get on the regular mobile processor. Um, it's going to have uh, two versions, an A15, ARM um, A15 version, uh, and a Denver base, which is Denver is NVIDIA's custom CPU, dual core. Uh, the Denver version will, be, will max out at 2.5 gigahertz. The ARM Cortex A15 will max out at 2.3 gigahertz of speed. And NVIDIA's big promise, as usual, is to bring next generation graphics, this time to the mobile platform, and in particular to Android. So this is our very first look at NVIDIA's new Tegra K1 processor.